YouTubers, it's Alex here from MacBook Vids, and today in this video, I'm just doing my top 10 free applications for Mac. Uh, these are in no particular order, and all download links are available in the video description, so go check them out if you like them. So let's get going, and my first application is called Handbrake. Now, this application allows you just cancel that. This application allows you to rip a DVD to your hard drive, which is pretty awesome. So you can do the audio tracks um, of CDs and stuff, video, um, you know, obviously DVDs and stuff. You can set chapters um, and stuff like that, chapter markers, and output settings. You can change it for, for, to be an MP4 or an MOV, etc. Um, and it's pretty easy to use. I've used it a couple of times, and it's very useful um, because I like to make copies of my DVDs, so I don't actually lose the DVD itself. So I can just use the copy. Um, so that's really nice. Second, I have iGetter. Now iGetter is um, basically a application downloader, um, but it's really super quick. Okay, it's it's probably about twice as fast if as if you um, were to download an application from Safari. So if you want something, then copy the link from Safari, um, and then just put it in here, start download, and it will just download it super fast. So that is a really nice application. Link for downloading this application in the video description. Uh, third, I have image to icons. Um, it has a little weird... Um, what are they called? Gecko things, I don't know. Lizard as its... Um, icon so it's quite a small application here what you do is basically drop an image a full size image doesn't matter what size it is um, in here and it will make it into an icon for you so you can use it as your Macintosh HD icon or any icons like your applications icon or anything like that so it is really useful and I have used it a few times download link in the description as always okay so fourth I have Kiss Mac um, has a little demon guy as the icon. I just open this up. Basically, what Kiss Mac does is it cracks the password of any Wi Fi networks that are in range. What you have to do is you put in, um, like, it asks you what your device is, and I just put in airport, you know, built in thing. Um, which is my device obviously to connect to Wi-Fi and then you search for start scan and search for Wi-Fi networks around you and then it cracks the password of those Wi-Fi networks and um, you can connect to them so it's great if you go and stay at someone's house they don't have Wi-Fi but the next door neighbor does brilliant little application that I was using it today okay application number five is called Tinker Tool Basically, this is just um, a bit of a better version of uh, system preferences with lots more, lots more um, options. So what you can do is, you know, deactivate dashboard, um, all sorts of things. You know, Finder, Doc, General, Applications, OS type stuff, fonts, font smoothing, login items, Safari, and reset to defaults. Um, so that's a really nice application. You can change a lot of stuff in that. Um, I haven't used it a lot, but I will be using it a bit later as I only have had my MacBook for a couple of days. Um, okay, so application number six is called Doc Doctor, which I found out from my mate Sam at MacMan2510. Uh, link to his channel in the description. Go check him out. Um, obviously, download link for Doc Doctor is in the description as well, so go check that out. In Doc Doctor, what you can do is choose your doc style, 2D or 3D. Um, so if you're using um, Mac OS X Tiger, this is good because you can have a 3D dock. Um, icon options, you can disable the dashboard. Dock skins, this is the best bit, I think. Um, you can have ice cold blue, radiant red. Radiant red is definitely my favourite. I've been using that quite a lot. I've got the default one at the moment, but it's really good. Black glass looks uh, very sort of slim and nice. Um, very nice, very nice. Dock spaces. Um, you can add a space to the left, to the right, add recent items stack, and then obviously about um, if you want to make a donation, etc. So that's Dock Doctor. 
Uh, application number seven is called UnRarX. Now, basically, this self-explanatory. Um, UnRarX is an application that unrars raw formatted files. So, if you download an application um, or a file off of the internet which is in raw format, then you can get it unrawed in this really nice little application, easy to use. Um, go check that out. Download link in the description. Uh, application number eight is called Doc Library. Um, I'm not going to go into this because it's similar to Doc Doctor, but you have to download uh, separate docs for it. It doesn't come with um, presetted docs, so you have to download them. Um, it's really good. You can download wood docs, you can download um, metal docs, you can download all sorts of docs. So it looks really nice. Application number nine is called Radio Lover. Um, this is one of my favorite applications. As you can see, I just clicked demo because you have to pay, I think it's about 12 or 15 dollars for this. I'm not too sure how much that is in uh, British pounds, but in dollars it's 12 to 15. Um, what you do is basically um, you can download live streaming radio. So if you say go onto the BBC iPlayer and you're listening to Radio 1, if you get that link, you put it in here, you can record the live stream onto your hard drive, which is pretty cool. So you can listen to it like later on your iPod or something. Um, that's really nice. I like that application a lot and I have been using it quite a bit. Um, now my final application is called Tweety. And this uh, is a Twitter application which allows you to make tweets and um, read other people's tweets and sort of manage your, your um, mail and stuff. It's pretty cool. It's self-explanatory. I don't really need to show you that. Um, so, yeah, a nice Twitter client. Uh, those are my favorite applications. I'll just run through them once more. Handbrake, iGetter, Image to Icons, KissMac, Tinkertool, Doc Doctor. UnRarX, Doc Library, Radio Lover, and Tweety. All of those applications are available for download for free, and uh, the links to download them for free are in the video description, so go check them out. Please go check out my uh, mate's YouTube, MacMan2510, link in the description. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.